Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet at the Thanksgiving event for 2024. Now, in the last episode, we were able to get the sashimi recipe, and we had already traveled to St. Croix for the next one. This is the trout tacos. Basically, it states here, trout dishes are incre always incredibly tender and tasty, no matter what recipe you follow. However, the trout from the clear water to St. Croix Lake in a crispy taco shell is extraordinarily is an extraordinary delicacy that's worth trying now i've already messed around here a little bit to see if i can catch them because it's a little trickier to catch some of these trout with the float rods but i did find out this much you can catch them with something other than a telescopic rod so long as you have at least one telescopic rod loaded up basically so what i had done is coming here now here's the telescopic rod I've got loaded up but I also put in a matchstick rod this Phoenix one and I'm using a waggler so I can fish with both of them and they both count you just have to have at least one rod set up in the manner they're speaking to so we're gonna go ahead and jump in here now right now we're over here at from dawn till dusk and I'm fishing for tiger trout and brook trout. Now I haven't gotten any brook trout yet, which is a little worrisome because I figured they were going to be a little bit tougher compared to some of the others. Now the brown trout, there's some good spots over on this side of things. And over here off the, the uh, I think it's called the fairy tale fishing. Yeah, the dock. But we've already got a rod pod set out here, so I'm going to throw two of these out at once. Now I've got my waggler one set out already. But right here is where I've been getting the tiger trout pretty easily. Gotten three already. I need to recast this one because going over here a little bit far. Now I've got a marker out there that I have in place from the, uh, some brook trout I caught a long time ago. Let me show you here. But I caught it with a narrow spoon, so that means it might not be quite as easy. Now here, I went ahead and marked tiger trout that I had caught. It seems like it is still a good spot. And pulling out actually three tiger trout so far. I'm going to try this again. I'm hoping that this goes better. But I've got it about as deep as it goes. Now the, tiger, the brook trout are going to be kind of deep. I think I caught them over on the other side too, but it's been a while. Yeah, I'm going to have to recast that here in a minute. And let me go ahead and recast this because it's already gone too far. Yeah, I usually cast it right about here and let it float down. It seems to work best. Now I've got the lead out as far as it'll go. 
If this one doesn't do any better, I might try just a regular f regular float and let it out. Maybe it's too deep. I don't know. But I haven't gotten one brook trout yet. And that's... I have not float fished for the brook trout here, so that could be part of the problem we've got going on here. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and put a regular... regular float on here, maybe an oval one, but I've got it on the Phoenix 12 foot by 10 inch. It's always been a good rod, but it gets down to 117. It might work. Let me, yeah, I can't get quite out as far with that was kind of what I was concerned about. I might try the... I don't have another chubby. Yeah, that gets out as far as I need to. I think I might take it out about this far and see if... If it doesn't do any better. I'll just put it in the third spot. Now we're getting a bite, so... That's a good sign. This could be another tiger trout. We're getting a lot of these guys. <laughs> the brown bullheads for some reason. They seem to be here in high amounts. Yeah, and I think I did catch him over on this side of things before, too. So if I don't do any better with the brook trout, I might try over on this end. But I don't have any markers for it, so... I think I just need to go out a little bit deeper. I think they're usually way out here, maybe in the hole. I might try that. If I can't get the cast that far out... Oh, okay. That's good. That's a good sign. It could be... Could be what we're after. I don't know. You can only hope. It's definitely bigger. And if it's another tiger trout... It's brook trout. Awesome. Okay, now we've, we found them. We found them. Let me see. Let me go ahead and put a marker for that. Yep, it is closer to the hole. Yeah, for some reason they seem to like to be near deep spots. Okay, that might be out a little bit too far, but we'll we'll give it a try. I need to recast this one. Wait a minute, maybe I don't. Getting a bite. Ooh, wow. Well, there he goes. And hope now if it's another one of those darn brown bullheads. Darn things. Yeah, this telescopic rod can't cast out that far, so we have to get... Get it right here. We don't have much of an option, but since I've been getting the tiger trout here fairly readily, okay, we've already passed the spot where I caught that one. Oh, we got another one. Well, 
I think we might have been able to lick the brook trout problem. Yep, we definitely found them. That's two out of the five. Now it looks like the tiger trout will give me a bit of an issue. Yeah, those bullheads are kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, I need to recast that one. There's quite a current in this lake, which is kind of surprising. Lakes usually don't have that much of a current. I think I might start over a little bit further on this end, let it float down. Yeah, once we get these guys out of the way, then we go after the brown trout. The brown trout are not found here. We're going to have to go on the other side of the lake. Ooh, okay. That's a good sign. That is a real good sign, actually. That is probably what we're after. Yep, tiger trout. Barbless Master 2. Catch a certain number of fish using Barbless Tackle. Two bait coins. I've been getting extra challenges left and right lately. Alright. Let's toss this a little bit ahead of it again. Yeah, I think once it gets to the other side, the, your chances of getting the bullhead increase, so... Yeah, switching over. I was trying that waggler. Oh, wait a minute. And I think it was just going a little too deep. Ah, darn brown bullhead. <laughs> they are pains in the butt. Yeah, let's go just a little bit ahead and let it float down. Well, we're going to keep at it. Hopefully we'll get the next tiger trout so we can finish that off. Then we have to focus on the brook trout. All right, we've got another one on here. I'm trying a little experiment here. I'm hoping it's going to work, but I put a bottom rod out there with the golden corn as well in the brook trout spot. And that's all our tiger trout. We don't need any more of those. I'm going to see if this works. If it works, then we can put out four rods and we're, our chances of getting these guys is just seriously increased. That's a brook trout. Does not count. Okay, it cannot be used. Cannot use a bottom rod. So, it's worth a try. Now, this may be a tiger trout or another one of those damn. Oh, it's not even that. It's a green sunfish. <laughs> we don't need that at all. Alright, so brook trout is what we need. We've got all the tiger trout we need. Unfortunately, I cannot get out that far with this rod. But I have to have it. Yeah, I'd have to get out there with a boat. That's the only way to do it. Which... Well, honestly, we could do. I think that's what we are going to do, honestly, guys, because we're going to need a boat anyway. 
We have a rod holder on the boat. Yeah, I had to give that a try, but the bottom rods do not work. You have to use you have to have a telescopic rod loaded up with a barbless hook and the golden corn. And that passes the qualifications. Then you have to have then you can use a matchstick rod. But you cannot use a bottom rod. It will not count. Alright, let's get in our Draco. Seems like a bit of a big boat to be taken out there, but... We'll get there pretty quick. Alright, there we go. Well, you can see something down there, that's for sure. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Alright. Let's see here. Don't want the bottom rod. Alright, we're going to need to put some kind of... Well, we can't put bells on these. And we can't use the rod pot out here, so we're just going to have to really keep an eye out. Or, actually, we'll do this. We'll keep an eye out and then float hold the other rod. That's what we'll do. So this one we'll throw out here. Just in front of it. And then... Then we'll toss this one out. Oh, shoot. And we got one on here. Well, we got a tiger trap. <laughs> Cast this one. Unless this turns out to be what we need. Yes, it is. Got lucky. Here's our third brook trout. So, really, anywhere in this area seems to be good. And this way we can watch both of them as we get two more fish. Oh, I got something on here. What have I got? Ugh. These things are starting to become a pain in the butt. I'm sure you guys have noticed that I've got a bunch of golden corn. Yeah, most of that's from last year. And I just happen to have a bunch of them in my home storage, and I put them with the ones I've collected. So now I have 275 golden corn. So golden corn is not going to be a problem. All right, I need to figure something out about this bobber. Yeah, let's use this one. That'll give us some distance. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I think that'll put us more into the brook trout territory. I also need to keep track of the peak period because as we drop out of the peak, 
we're going to have less of a chance of getting these guys, so... Okay, I don't see the bobber. There's the fourth one. One more. Oh, that was weird. Some kind of glitchy thing happened there. Well, something's biting it. Keep an eye on it, just in case. I doubt it's what we're after, but... Oh, a brown trout! Right here! Seriously! We may not have to go to that spot at all. Let me mark that. That was weird. I didn't... I really don't think I've ever caught one over here. Let me see. Go to the map here. I'm gonna mark that. Brown trout. Right there. Actually, it was further in right here, but... Oh! We've got something on here. I don't think that's a brown bullhead. That seems a little too big. There it is. There's our last brook trout. So now we gotta get four brown trout instead of five. I'll tell you what, let's toss one right here. Put that in that rod holder. And I'm going to put this one kind of close to me. Because that's where I caught it. It was actually right over here. Wait a minute. Hold on. We got a bite. Uh, brook trout. <laughs> Well, this is where I caught the last brown trout. Now, if I get another one... Oh, I hate when that does that. Let me put this in this rod holder and we'll move this one over. We're definitely getting the brook trout. We may end up having to go to that spot. That could have been a fluke. Are we moving? No. Well, we definitely have something big down there. Could be brown trout. It's hard to say. Let's put this one in its spot. We'll try it again. Yeah, sometimes if you're too close, you just... It will... Say you pull the bait too soon. I don't know why it does that. It's actually very irritating. We definitely have some fish down there that are decent sized. Now, I have a feeling we're just going to be getting brook trout. 
because yeah let's go ahead and head back over to the main place I think that was kind of a fluke Fairytale Fishing Dock. I've caught plenty of brown trout here in the past. The nice thing is, the peak doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. see what do we got here and a marker yep brown trout even have a marker now this time we can set on a rod pod though and we'll have bells and whistles and all that stuff so let's try it We don't have that current here, so that's a good thing. Hopefully this holds true with regards to catching the brown trout. something on both of them and this one's kind of big so if it's brown trout it probably is what we're after there's our second one okay this is a big one this may be bigger than just a regular brown trout it might be a trophy it is another brown trout, though. It's just good size. Yep, this spot is still what we need in the good spot. There we go. We gotta get one more. No, two more. Sorry. Now, if we got them that quick, this shouldn't shouldn't, in theory, take that long. Two hours later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens, guys. Yeah, this is Definitely a good spot. And I've caught them over here, too. Lure fishing. Well, that didn't take long. I don't think that's a brown trout. I think it's another darn brown bullhead. These things are starting to get on my nerves. They're everywhere. It's not what I need. There we go. Yeah, this is what we're after. Pretty darn sure. Nice brown trout. We got one more. That's it. And this mission is complete. There is still a bit of a current, though. 
They're definitely moving. I've been having to recast them from time to time. Now we're coming out of a peak. Like I said, usually the brown trout doesn't seem to be as affected by the, the peak periods. But they were definitely biting more frequently during the peak, so... Let's just keep an eye on this. Alright, let's see what this one has on it. Actually, it could be the right one. I don't know. We'll have to see here. A brook trout? Really? Oh, for goodness sakes. I have never caught a brook trout over here. Never. Well, there, like I said, there are other spots. Let's see what this does here. Oh, I think we got one. Oh, we, yeah, we got one. Or something. This is, this is big, whatever it is. Either it's a very large brook trout, or it's something entirely different. No, it's a brook trout, it's just a very big one. And that's it. We got him. That's the last one. There's our final brook trout, guys. Final brook trout of the day. We have got all the fish we need. Awesome. Yeah, the lighting here is not very good, so that's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> Alright. We'll keep him. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over here before I leave grab some more corn yeah here it is should be able to get the corn nope presents next year so you can only get it once all right get the dish and there it is Thanksgiving dish trout tacos the item is placed to your backpack and now we have to go back to Lone Star again Too bad there. Yeah, these missions are going a lot faster than they did last year. Yeah, I hope some of those spots help you guys, but yeah, I didn't know that I until I tried it whether or not the using the matchstick stick rod would work but we did find out that bottom rods do not work so you could probably set out if you get enough of them you could do four matchstick rods to kind of increase your chances a little bit there's nothing in the world that says you can't alright we are here Another bait coin, 1500, and now we need to go to Golden Corn, the Quanchkin Lake, then San Joaquin is the final place. Let's see if Quanchkin's where we need to get the, the next meal or whatever. My guess, what 
we'll check this one here. And but I have a feeling that everything's either going to be over here, or the tobacco, either a good old tobacco, or at the Pelican Hut. But let's check here first, just to make sure. I'm not seeing any corn. So I think I'm probably right on that one. Let's try good old tobacco. Yep, there's the corn. And now we have... And here's the pot. Okay, so I was... Fish with a secret. Okay, we've already completed that one. So, once we've got that, we'll go ahead and leave. And I guess St. San what not St. Croix. San Joaquin is the last and final place. Now this one I have to buy a license. I don't have a Unlimited license at San Joaquin, unfortunately. I'll buy one just for the. Well, let's go ahead and buy. Well, no, we can buy a day. It's not gonna kill me. good thing is there are not as many spawn points. There's only, well, there's four now. There used to be only three. But they increased and they added this one. Sometime, sometime recently. Well, let's check the boat dog first. I have a feeling Beaver, Beaver uh, Island is where it's going to be, though. But we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, it's not here. I don't see it. Yeah. Let's try here. I bet you this is where it is, because this is raw. Yep, there's the corn. A mission accomplished. Corn harvest is done. Well done. You've collected all the corn. Seven bay coins, 12,000 cash. Thanksgiving turkey. The Thanksgiving turkey is a work of culinary art in the best holiday traditions. The turkey is selected with quality and freshness in mind, and its tender meat is roasted until golden brown. This is not just a dish, but a symbol of family peace and comfort. Okay. And here's the pot. Chinese style carp. Get the mission. Well, my guess is we gotta get carp. So a unique Chinese recipe for a unique carp. To satisfy all tastes, you must sim simply must try cooking the unusual delicacy. Catch a unique carp. Ooh, my goodness. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, man. And fry it in the sweet and sour sauce made from the fresh apples. One bait coin, 50 head of cash. A unique common carp. Collect a few apples. Where am I going to find apples? Oh. Oh, I have to look around and find these little barrels of apples, huh? Well, something tells me i got to go do some a little bit of exploring here. <laughs> 